and welcome to the second in our series of cutting edge videos. Humans and models are usually not good at handling too much information. When the number of factors involved in a decision making process increases, the modeling of that decision process and its various outcomes becomes unwieldy and time consuming. Luckily, machine learning has stepped in to solve that problem. One area within finance that has consistently attracted more research from the buy side than any other is market impact, or the effect of large orders moving the market price in an unfavorable direction. Solutions to this range from a simple limit on time taken to execute the trade to limits on the price at which the trade is executed. But these two methods need not always result in the optimal execution which maximizes the wealth and reduces costs for the trader. More sophisticated institutions use dynamic programming to update the execution algorithm to reflect changing market conditions. This means having to use computationally intensive numerical techniques. In all these cases, the limitations arise from the fact that the various dynamics need to be modeled. In this month's first technical, Machine Learning for Trading, Gordon Ritter, a senior portfolio manager at GSA Capital Partners in New York, applies a machine learning technique called reinforcement learning to simulate market impact and find an optimal trading strategy that maximizes the value of the trade adjusted for its risk. Reinforcement learning tries to train the machine through a large number of simulations to choose the best course of action in a particular environment. So when the machine is ready to trade in real life, it already knows what the optimal course of action is. In this paper, the author applies reinforcement learning to trading by giving the agent the task of maximizing the expected utility of the trade, that is the value of the trade, less all associated costs and adjusted for the risk of the trade. What has always restricted optimal execution algorithms is the number of factors that can be used in the models. As the number of factors get large, the problem becomes difficult to solve. This does not exist with reinforcement learning, as the machine learns by trial and error of being in different states of the world and figuring out the optimal path of execution on its own. Many have been quick to try and reap the benefits of machine learning in the modeling of market impact. Firms like Portware and JP Morgan are already using supervised machine learning approaches to model market impact. The latter is also testing the use of reinforcement learning to optimize its trading schedule. One common criticism of machine learning, especially from regulators, is the way it works is not transparent. So when things go wrong, it's difficult to pinpoint at the source of the problem. For that reason, while developing machine learning applications for trading activities that could potentially impact markets, simultaneous strides must be made in improving the way machine learning approaches can be tested. That way, firms can leverage two things, the diligence and speed with which machines can trawl through large data sets and the ability of humans to adapt and find solutions when things go wrong. For more information, visit risk.net and see you again for the next installment of Cutting Edge Videos.